Hey guys, Ninjaman494 here, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I know I said I was going to post a few over the summer, but I got a job at the Nature Center that I volunteered at. For, oh my god, it's snowing in October in Grand Rapids. Anyways, I'm back at school at Grand Valley State University, and it's been a real pain in the butt to get stuff done. I'm currently working on a biology report. Um, as you can see right here, you know, population ecology with formulas for density, relative density, dominance, frequency, importance, volume, what have you. So that's one of the big projects I have for my biology class, which is, you know, general biology part two. After that, or after this class, I'm going to be able to start taking, you know, higher level courses regarding biology. So... Yeah, I'm working on that, and then I th or I'm in the works and creating a new like series. And I know I've said this many times before, I've never done it, but um, my plan is to make a series that takes you from the base of the tree of life all the way to the tippy top where we are right now. But for now, I'm in just enjoying a cup of chai, chai tea, and. I've been thinking about something. A while ago, well, it wasn't quite a while ago, it was in my Monday biology lecture. Ooh, birds. Anyways, it was in my Monday biology lecture, and we were learning about vascular plants, so trees, flowers, basically anything that today we would designate as a plant. Mosses and ferns don't count because they don't have you know, vascular tissue. But anyways, my biology teacher, really cool guy, our homework assignment was to look at a pine tree. Just look at it. And that really got me thinking. Because I've tried to grow pine trees before, and they are very, very hard to grow. So, after looking a while for a um, pine cone, a female pine cone which holds the eggs, I finally found a seed, and here it is, right here. And I got to thinking, how amazing it really is that something this small, that you can barely see on the screen, will eventually turn into a tree that's over 50 feet tall. I mean, granted, it takes years and years and years, but... It really is truly amazing that something like this can turn into a tree and given even more time turn into a forest. You know, so that's just a little something to think about. I gotta get going. I promise I'm gonna work as hard as I can to make this project of mine a reality. Um, I'm also in the works of editing video I shot on a trip I took with a friend from work this summer. So that's going to be fun. We went looking for the or a saga pedo, and if you don't know what that is, I'll put, you know, info to what a saga pedo is down there. So, uh, hopefully I'll get that video out sometime eh, by my winter break or my Christmas break. So until then, you know, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing with school and whatnot, more or specifically biology, and I'll keep you guys posted. See you guys later.